everyone, this is Pam Coey and I'm in my studio. I'm going to be trying something that I've never done before. Surprise, surprise. And I have a um, 7 foot by 8 foot canvas. It's, um, it's primed, which means I didn't have to gesso it. And I've had it for a pretty long time and I've really never worked on canvas with acrylic, um, with oils. and. So actually I don't have it stretched, it's really just on my studio wall. And I thought I would just show you kind of my setup and then I'm going to just have fun. Um, I'm gonna be trying a lot of things that I've never done before. First of all, I've never worked on a size this big, um, which means that all the tools have to be larger and I'm kind of prepared to do that. And I just want you to know I have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen, which is usual. I don't really like to have a sketch or anything um, in my mind, I like to just kind of, especially in the, in the beginning, I want to just play and see what happens. So um, let me turn my camera around and I'll show you my setup. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. So first of all, I have this um, very large canvas and like I said, it's pre-gessoed and I want to show you how I've attached it to the wall. I have some jumbo thumbtacks here. They're not the little kind, they're the big kind. And I have some that are white, you know, I like, kind of like the white ones because they're not as distracting, but then I kind of ran out, so they turn green, and then they turn blue. <laughs> so anyways, they're on my main, this um, canvas is on my main painting wall, and there's nothing on it right now. And uh, scanning over here, I've got, you know, my setup, I'm ready to uh, work on these wet palettes, but I, I have a feeling that I'm not going to be doing a lot um, to begin with on these wet palettes because I kind of need bigger tools to cover the canvas, uh, kind of just get a base coat down. And I also wanted to point out that I, I'm prepared to thicken my paints with, uh, I have golden regular gel gloss, uh, notice the word gel, what that means is that if I add that to a liquid acrylic, it's going to thicken it. And the reason why I have that here is because I know that when I work on this wall, I'm going to be fighting gravity. And um, I thought about having the canvas flat on the floor and just kind of, you know, doing it that way, but it's really important for me to be able to stand back. So I just decided to do it this way and let gravity do its thing. There's our little schnauzer, Vincent. I left Cornelia at home. I'm here in the evening because um, it took me almost the whole day to set up. <laughs> I've got, I had to just, you know, get, get all the right size things. I've got these really long handled brushes here. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of mark making, but in this case, because I know it's just like, this is such a huge canvas, um, it, the marks will be just, dis they'll disappear. But the reason I want to start with marks anyways is to get a feel for how big this thing is. And then over here, I've got my little cart with paints and they're ready to go. Um, there's been squirt bottles, so they're the more fluid kind. And then I have these other containers that I got on eBay, like they're kind of ancient. They're like several years old. So I don't even know what condition they're in, but I thought, well, I'll just try to uh, use them because they're gonna be thicker. They're the thicker type of acrylic and I've not really used the thicker kind. And then I've got like these, um, paint rollers because I feel like to cover the amount of area that I want to cover in the first pass I'm going to kind of need that. So I've got two sizes of these rollers. I've got the four inch kind and then I've got the, I think they're six inch. A um, couple different handles, a uh, couple different handle lengths and um, so with that um, I have no idea what's going to happen and I have an upcoming show in June. And yeah, I'd love for a piece to be in the show that's this big, but um, certainly I'm not going to put any pressure on myself because right now the only thing I have to think about is having fun and playing. So if you're ready, here we go.
Okay, so I'm gonna, whoops, get close up here to show you the texture of the canvas. Not much is happening now, but just a few marks. Can't really see too much from a distance. So here I smeared that um, pencil mark. I just wanted to see if it would move, and it did. So I'm kind of liking, um, liking it, just using the paint roller, no brushes yet. I'm sure I'll be using my hands later. And getting a feel for how big this thing is. Feels very large. Definitely can feel it. It's a good workout. I was able to get some dots up there. And using the paint roller as my mark maker because those marks, you know, all the marks have to be scaled up in order to really show. to work on day after day after day and see what happens. I think it's just going to have to evolve as I go. You can see that some places the paint is thicker and some places very thin, but I think I covered most of that primed canvas. overnight and again this is a seven foot by eight foot work on canvas I'm um, just really getting started and getting a feel for the um, expansive amount of area I have to cover and just um, a few comments I guess uh, I'm realizing that you know my tools I already knew had to scale up but um, in order to work in, in the way that I normally work um, I woke up this morning you know, thinking about how do I make really big shapes and how am I gonna do this? It's all vertical, uh, I can't really move it around that easily, although I did have an idea of how I could tack some thin wooden strips to say that all four sides of this, even though it's not stretched and be able to, to rotate it because that's a really important part of my process. And I'm sure you do that too. It's like you get used to one orientation, but you have to keep turning it around to get a feel for what's happening in, the, you know, in other orientations for balance. So I think I will have to do that as the painting progresses. And because it's so huge, um, you know, you have to bend the canvas when you turn it. Um, I am working in acrylic right now, and I think for this painting I'm going to keep it that way. The main reason is that because everything is so new for me, working on this scale, I don't want to throw kind of this uh, yet another new thing into this whole mix. If I worked with um, oils and cold wax medium, I'd have to decrease my amount of cold wax medium to less than 25% to be able to work on a flexible canvas, uh, unless I were willing to mount this onto wood, which I think that would defeat the purpose. I'm thinking that if I wanna work on this scale, the idea is to keep everything lightweight and at the end of it, if I want to stretch it, great. If I want to roll it up and store it, great. If I wanted to ship it, you know, it's all very doable. But the minute you work with oil and cold wax medium, that's just not the case with um, uh, flexible canvas. So the way I'm working, I'm just going to keep exploring. I had some ideas for like, I need to start getting something really speaking to me. And I think for that, I need to think about the normal way that I work, even though I've got a huge scale here, I normally start to think about shape. And so I woke up this morning thinking about not just shape, but color, bright color and value and how I could make, um, make this work. Um, it's, it's just all an experiment. So thanks for, for joining.
those up here. Kind of liking what's happening. I'm liking the different textures that I can get using my hands versus a brush, although I did use a brush as well. I like a variety of marks. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely different working on canvas. I don't find it limiting. I think, if anything, um, I think especially with acrylic, you know, it's very free. Um, it's just, it feels to me like uh, just a really great exercise in playing and discovering and exploring. Um, and I think as far as design goes, I think um, little tweaks, uh, once this dries, it, it doesn't have to be a question of how much time you put into something. It's more like I love spontaneity. Um, this might be a case where, um, like some of my other paintings that came together, you know, pretty quickly, but I might want to leave quite a bit of spontaneity there instead of making it too tight. I think it's fine to have that realm from, you know, more uh, developed, maybe more tight um, versus more loose. I think everybody's personality has room for that. So, um, yeah, here's just some close-ups. It's hard to see from the camera angle, but um, I'm sure it was a lot of fun. And I definitely want to put more marks in with, you know, dry mark making and some of the drips were uh, much longer than I expected, like this one, but um, it is a very big painting, so scale-wise, maybe the drip has to be that big as well. So thanks, everyone.